Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. I got Piggy Smalls here in the cuddle sack. Can my guinea pigs get me sick? I get this question a lot, especially during flu season. Uh, well, actually, I get the question, can I get my guinea pigs sick? But in this case, with these uh, crazy times, the question really is, can my guinea pigs get me sick? I've been getting emails from all around the world and people have seen this news article and they are kind of concerned about whether or not the Huntavirus can be passed from their pet guinea pigs to them. And the quick answer is no. But let's talk about where you can get it and what the misconception is, why the confusion. So please stick around and watch the whole video. Let's get into it. So after receiving several of these emails asking about the Huntavirus and asking about their guinea pigs, I decided to do a little research. What? Research? You cannot get Huntavirus from farm animals, mosquitoes, dogs or cats, and guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils, or other pet store rodents. According to the article, a man in China died after contracting the virus. So what is hantavirus, how do you get it, and who is at risk? Hantaviruses are viruses spread by rodents. There are several strains of hantaviruses which can cause an illness known as hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, a respiratory illness that starts with flu-like symptoms. And how does it spread? A hantavirus is only spread through rodent to human contact and can't be spread from human to human. It is therefore only possible to get sick from this virus directly from a rat infestation. Tiny particles of rat droppings, urine, or saliva can be inhaled when stirred up into the air or when directly handled with bare hands, then touching the face and nose. The World Health Organization says cases of human hantavirus infection usually occur in rural areas, forests, fields and farms where sylvatic rodents hosting the virus might be found. The word sylvatic refers to wild animals and the pathogens they host. Sylvatic means forest dwelling. So again, let's talk about how people can get it. Humans can get it by sweeping up deer mouse droppings. A dog or a cat cannot spread it from a rodent to a person. Dogs and cats can get the Huntavirus, but they can't spread it to people, and animals don't get sick from it. Humans can be infected with the Huntavirus by being bitten by a rodent, and here are some other ways that can expose you to the virus. Improper cleaning of rodent infestations and nests, cleaning any shed, cabin, or garage or building that was closed for a prolonged period of time, assuming that there's actually an infestation there. Working in areas where there might be rodent infestations, such as barns, it's therefore best to avoid the risk by wearing a protective mask when cleaning rodent nests and droppings with a broom to avoid inhaling the particles stirred up into the air, and obviously gloves. This Forbes article is a little bit deceiving because it talks about the Huntavirus coming from pet rat owners, and it was a, quote, patient who owned and operated an in-home rattery, but they go on to explain that it was uh, horribly messy, dirty, and overcrowded conditions, and it's most likely that uh, a wild, sick rat infected their breeding rats. The article goes on to detail all of the cases of Huntavirus that have been discovered or investigated over the last several years, and they note that it seems to correlate with increased rainfall, which boosts the population of deer mice. Again, wild mice, wild animals, wild rodents. And so it's definitely about these sick wild animals and being exposed to them. So what animals get hantavirus? Wild rodents are the principal animal species affected. The viruses have been found in deer mice, white-footed mice, cotton rats, rice rats, and others. The viruses have not, have not been found in gerbils, hamsters, guinea pigs, or non-rodent pets or livestock. They have not been found in guinea pigs.
So how do hantavirus affect my animal? Hantaviruses do not affect pets or livestock, and infected wild rodents do not show signs of illness, but they shed the virus into the environment in their feces, urine, and saliva. So remember, animals don't become ill from hantavirus, but people can. But the animals can be carriers, so you need to protect your pets and your livestock by making sure that wild rodents don't infest your pet's habitats. But again, it's never been found in gerbils and guinea pigs and hamsters and the like. Just wild mice and rats. Hantavirus causes Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome. And if you've been exposed to or get infected with Hantavirus, then the signs and the symptoms of HPS include fever and chills, headaches and body aches, abdominal cramps. After 10 days, fluid may start forming in the lungs, which may cause fatal respiratory failure. This is something to be aware of and concerned about, but nothing to lose your mind over. So I hope that clears up some confusion. Let me know. What happened? Where are you going? You're done? All right, Piggy Smalls is done. So <laughs> let me know in the comments if you guys have any more information. Let's have a conversation. All right. See you next time.